Today at Coyote Classics, Chad and I are checking out this real deal 1967 Camaro RSSS. Um, sweet car, love the stance, um, love that it's the real deal. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, it's a real R2 car, Bolero red with a black vinyl top. Uh, the only thing really added uh, was they got rid of the SS350 uh, engine and went ahead and put a big block in it, which uh, not too many people are going to complain about a big block instead of a 350. But just really nice to start out with a factory RSSS car. Uh, it'll all be decoded on our website too, Bolero Red. And you know what else? I'm just gonna sneak right over here. It's got the factory uh, custom deluxe interior, original color there. It's got factory tilt wheel and tack and gauges, which show on the fender tag as exactly how it came. Very nice. So not only does it have a big block, it's also got power steering, Dalton, which is very important when you want to steer one of these cars. Even though they're a smaller car, it's still nice to have that power steering. It's got a set of headers, nice dual exhaust, brand new Napa Legend battery, as we always usually put that in uh, when they come in here. Bottom of the hood's nice. You know, paint job was 25 years old on it. Previous owners owned it for 20 plus years, and uh, the paint job was done on it when he got it. That still looks great. You know, oh, it looks really nice. If we wouldn't tell you that, you never would have guessed it. No, it looks like it could be three to five years old. Uh, but very well taken care of. Hideaway headlights. I like the BFG raised white letter tires. The big ones on the back. Like the stance. Like the old school uh, American Racing rims as well. Yeah, the stripes are all cleared in here. There's absolutely no tape line. What a gorgeous paint. Michael buffed it out. Looks awesome. Few little chips, stuff like that. Um, down here on the bottom rocker molding, there is some nicks and stuff in that original molding. Factory drum brake car. Top of the dash pads, excellent. It's got just a little tiny little paint crack or scratch right here. Really nice gap. Usually I'm not like a huge fan of like the big tire in the back, but on this car I just absolutely love it. it for some reason it's- uh, It's old school. Yeah, it makes a difference on what car it's on, that's for sure. This one's just perfect. Vinyl top is awesome. Factory black vinyl top in great shape. Back shelf with a couple of 1979 Sony speakers. Um, they look good too. Uh, top of the back seat looks good. Hey Dalton, is this a full down rear seat? I'm gonna check that out. I think it is, man. Oh my God, it That's is. That's super, super rare, but you could, I've seen one other RS that had that, that purple one we had one yeah. back. Yeah, that really is a rare option. It just, I didn't even notice it until just, just now. super cool. I'm guessing if we look a little deeper there on that uh, fender tag, it's gonna show that as well. Oh, um, cool. Laser straight, nice dual exhaust. Back bumper is original. You know, you could definitely replace it. It's got the bumper guards. It's got scratches and stuff in it, but you know what, if it's original, heck, leave it. Yeah, it's a pretty rare car, really. Especially the full down. Hey, Dave. Seat. Hey. You know this is a factory RSSS? We just decoded it. Yeah, so have you seen this before, Dave? I've seen this in one other, like, RS Camaro. I think it's 68. It's got a factory full down rear seat. That's cool. Yeah, RSSS, original Bolero red, black vinyl top, deluxe interior, tilt wheel, full down rear seat. Yeah. Pretty cool. I love it. They don't get, they don't get better than this. this nope. Is 396 car. Um, as far as the wing windows and stuff like that, they're still in great shape too. I mean, the, the exterior trim really is a nice shape. Corner of the doors are great. Uh, paint the door jams when it was done years ago. They did an awesome job. Obviously the doors and, and fenders and everything looks like they've been taken off. There's no tape line here in the jam. There's your fold down rear seat. Original carpet on that fold down rear seat. Seat covers, I'm sure, have been redone, but they are the factory factory uh, covers, and uh, it's exactly how it came with the uh, black with the white decor. Like the factory gauges on the console, factory tack works, headliners in really good shape. It looks like the uh, dome lights in the back aren't working, the courtesy lights right now. After Michael buffed it out and stuff, I mean, that paint looks great. Really does. Should we go ahead and... Uh, Fire this bad boy up. 
Obviously, your um, custom door panels too, the deluxe ones. I know they're called custom on the uh, the RPO sheet and stuff, but I like calling them deluxe. Yeah, sounds better. Uh, we do have the original steering wheel. Actually, it's laying right over there. Um, so it's got the factory steering wheel, but uh, previous owner chose to put the uh, rosewood on it, which I like. Again, seats are great. Door panels are great. Go ahead and fire it up and see what we got. Some sounds great too. Hey Dalton. Yeah. Uh, this was a factory manual car, just so you know. Yep. Okay. So it still has a clutch pedal and stuff. Guy ever wants to take it back to that, you can. Let's start here. Turn behind the wheel, this big block 67 RSSS. Pretty neat car, Dalton. Factory tack works got tilt wheel um, all your factory gauges and that's exactly the way this one came from the factory temp gauge gas gauge work uh, oil pressure is way over on the high side and uh, battery gauge is working as well so knowing it's not looks like uh, maybe the clock isn't working wipers are working Peter pan even works huh it's awesome this is neat Got the fold down rear seat, beware option. Get in the car. Like the cowl hood as well. The rosewood steering wheel is nice. It's a sweet car. That transmission shifts really good as well. As far as our brakes go, no pull left or right. Really nice full pedal up here too. Um, it does have a four speed clutch and pedal system. I think this one came from the factory as a three speed manual. Yep. Um, I remember right. Idle could be adjusted a little bit as far as uh, in gear. It's still idling okay at about 800 RPM. Okay, okay, Gary.